What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, today we are working with Uni's hair. And so they sent me this cute curly closure wig y'all perfect for the summertime quick little throw on take off type wig and so i'm definitely feeling it and y'all first of all get into the texture and so i believe this wig is about 20 22 inches i'll have all the link and all the information about this specific unit and wig that i'm wearing in the description box down below but ignore how it's looking right now because i just went ahead and went through with my tweezers and my hot comb to pluck and you know hot comb like the baby hairs and edges and everything so that way this is a quick and little easy install and so without further ado you guys i'm gonna do a voiceover for this video and so let's get into it thanks first y'all already know i'm gonna just go in and apply my wig cap and because this is a closure wig closure wig and because i'm kind of lazy i literally just put my wig cap on my head and i always have like a little slick back low ponytail or whatever or you could do cornrows or twist out or whatever and i'm literally just gonna go through with my makeup and put it all over my wig cap and i'm doing this so that way it at least blends in with the lace a little bit but it just saves so much time rather than going through and doing the whole little ball cap method and stuff so i just clean my forehead with some alcohol and now i'm gonna go through and fix the little adjustment straps on the back so that way i can just apply this wig and it feels nice and snug fit it on my head And now that that's done, I'm literally just going to go ahead and put this wig on my head. And so as you guys can see, I kind of did the whole hot comb plucking baby hair separation thing ahead of time. Just so we can save some time. And from there, I'm just kind of getting the wig nice and adjusted. And they had two combs on the side of the wig. And so I just kind of put those where I wanted them to go. Kind of just tuck them like under my wig cap. So that way the fit was like nice and snug. And from there, I'm just taking my extra hair and kind of just clipping that back away from the lace so I'm not accidentally gluing any hair or anything on my forehead and now it's time to go in and lay this wig down so I'm going in with the wig dealer touch up bonding gel and y'all this stuff is literally the best especially if you want a nice quick easy little install and so the thing is with this and I love the applicator it has but you need to use the applicator and kind of let little go a long way because <clears throat> just as if you were using any other glue if you kind of have a lot to the point where it seeps through the lace then it's going to do exactly that and so i used a little too much on this install but i ended up making it work later on but just kind of you know apply a thin layer even if you apply multiple layers do kind of do the um application in thin layers at a time so if you're going to apply five layers do five super thin layers and let them be on top of each other rather than do one super thick layer and so after this I was literally just going through and kind of just trying to make sure that you know it dried properly and just didn't do too much since I applied like more glue than was needed and I went through and kind of plucked a little more on the hairline area behind that one baby hair which you guys have seen me um, later on just go through and get a little more hair to go into my baby hairs but I really just like I feel like you have to pluck a little more with closures because you only got so much space to work with and to make look natural so closures are just a different story <laughs> And so now I kind of have this little elastic on there just letting that glue kind of lay this wig down. And so from there I'm going through with my wide tooth comb. And I'm using this to just detangle the hair and also um, remove all the like excess hair from when I plucked it. And so most of that came out and I'm just going through with some water to kind of get those curls coming in. And one thing I noticed throughout doing this wig is while I added water and it looked good, 
adding mousse really gave the curls just a whole different like i don't know like body if you understand what i'm saying so i went through with my nairobi foaming mousse and kind of just added that to the curls and ran my fingers through it and kind of just finger comb throughout the hair until i was getting the curls that i wanted and y'all that stuff is so lightweight i literally love it it legit got my curls exactly how i wanted them Now, before we go through and take this elastic off, I'm just going to go through with my hot comb one more time and just, you know, hot comb like the edges, like the baby hair areas and just make sure the wig is nice and flat exactly how I want it. And so once I do that, then I can go ahead and take my elastic off and, you know, just fix or touch up anything that I'm really not liking on the lace and whatnot. And so when I was cutting this lace, I was very intentional um, in not trying to cut too close to the baby hairs. Because typically when you section your baby hairs off like ahead of time and you go through and cut the lace, you end up also like cutting some baby hairs. And so that's why I kind of just cut under the baby hairs with the scissors and then did the lace like with the little razor and whatnot. And here you kind of just see me kind of tweaking the lace, like cleaning around the edges like any alcohol and cutting my baby here and y'all i went through with my little mini flat iron to you know curl them things chat almost burned my forehead but nonetheless it makes them so much easier to swoop and you know just like i just like you know the look it gives but right here my um baby hairs was giving thin so i had to go back through and just grab some more hair to add into the little baby hairs child and so i got my baby hair is nice and swooped down and now i'm just going back through to add a little body to these curls and you know make them look a little less frizzy and so i was just going in with my foaming mousse same thing that i used the first time in this video to get the girls popping and after that i know you guys can kind of see like the lace is looking a little ashy and so i'm gonna go through with my um concealer that matches my skin the closest and that's gonna be in the shade walnut of nyx cosmetics and i literally just applied that all over my wig and i ain't even gonna hold y'all i took it down to my forehead a little bit so it's really blended out like and that that did the trick <laughs> Hey you guys so i went and did my makeup and put on some lashes or whatever but here's like the final look of this wig and as y'all can see by the hair i've kind of been flipping like back and forth between like a side part and the middle part i took pictures with both but i really don't know which one i like better because i love a good side part but the middle i don't know i think i'm gonna have to go with the middle here because i think middle sometimes just looks better with closures and so let me go ahead and and I try not to spray it too much even though that was a lot because I kind of like how the curls look more once they've dried than I like how it looks when it's wet. Okay y'all so here's the hair and I like this I think it looks really good and the lace also blended pretty well once I kind of added my foundation and stuff on there and it also blended pretty well considering I did not bleach the knots or anything and that is it for this install I will link all the information once again in the description box below if y'all are interested in purchasing this unit thank y'all so so much for tuning in you already know click smash smack that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all on my next video